Hey guys, welcome back to Bowls Fan TV. And today we're doing a match preview for tomorrow's game against Shells and Falcon Park. Um, yeah, look, it's a difficult game. We 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 know that for sure. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, yeah, look, it's it's a tough game without a doubt. Um, Shells are a side that have started the season really really well. Um, you know. Being beaten, uh, they, they've got a couple of draws there in the last two games, but you know, they still won, I think, six games out of, their, out, out of uh, their, their first nine. So, look, it's it's pretty good, it's it's pretty good going from them, of course. But for ourselves, we need we need a, a big response from um from last Friday. You know, it was a very, it was a very disappointing result, uh, to you know, to be beaten at home by Waterford after such a strong, you know, uh, performance and win away in in, in Galway there. Um, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, and you know, it, it's up to us now in this game to bounce back. Um, you know, in a, in a difficult game against a decent shell side, uh, in a Dublin derby, of course. Um, and yeah, look, I don't really know what to expect going into it. I mean, lying to you, it is, as I said, I was confident, but we've just got to try and have a little bit of belief, I think. Um, you know, shells, I think, are capable of being got at. Um, we saw in that game against Strata there um, that they are capable of conceding, even even when they're very tight at the back and they don't concede many goals. They are capable of shipping the odd goal or two. Um, but for me, I think I think our biggest biggest problem over the last couple of games has been scoring goals. You now you look at the Water game for example. Um, you know we had a lot of the ball, we just couldn't find that little bit of creativity. Um, you know finishing touch, I suppose. You know Dylan Connolly was putting good balls into the box most times, but there was no one on the end of them to to finish. Uh, so yeah, look, it, it, it's one of those games really where you just don't really, you know, you're 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 worried because you're 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 playing poorly, but you're you're somewhat confident, hoping that there'll be a response. You know from a poor defeat uh, last week. Um, because you know, obviously we're still very early in in under uh, the Alan Reynolds era. I suppose you know he's still we're still very early on in his tenure. It's gonna take him time to get to all the players, get a system in place. But you know, at, at the moment anyway, we're we're not we're nowhere near it. And, and that and you know where we are in the league shows that. Um, you know we're, we're eighth place, ten points. You know, it's not been great. Um. You know, we've we've had some bad defeats, bad performances. You know, we look you look back at the Shells game there, um, only back in March. You know, it was a tight game. We felt you know it just just you know you know it was just you know this the the game as an example. Obviously, we're, we're coming up against Shells tomorrow, so we only played them last month. It was a tight enough game, but we we just fell short. Um, they they got a couple of late goals. You know, it was it was a pretty tight game, pretty even game, but you know. They just managed to have that little bit of um, bit of quality in the, in the end. The winner, obviously, it was a penalty and a set piece, but you know, it was it was still poor. We still didn't really do enough on the night to win it. It was quite a cagey game, and I'm expecting the same really tomorrow. I think it'll be another cagey enough game, but hopefully, look, we'll come out on the right side, right side with this time. Um, you know, we, we need to start getting a bit of consistency going. I think that's another big issue. Where can, we haven't really been that consistent this season. You know, we've had just the, the three wins this season, you know, in, in three difficult games. You know, going away to Galway is not easy. We beat we, we Pats at Richmond Park, um, you know, Derry as well. That was a good win. You know, and, and we have had impressive wins this season. And I just hope that tomorrow is, is another one of those games where we're going into it thinking, oh, I don't know, are we really going to get anything from this game? You know, a bit like the Pats game, I think that was how we kind of felt after the, I remember it was the, the first, the second game of the season, the Pats game, but the first game we we, we drew a Sligo and didn't play that well and we were thinking, oh God, you know, this, this is going to, this is going to be good for us now going into Rich, going to Richmond Park and we're not going to get anything, but we came out on the right hands, on, on the right side of it and um, you know, it was it was a cagey game, it was, it was there was nothing really in it but we still got the three points and I just hope we do the same tomorrow. Um, but yeah, look, I'm going to be predicted team. Um, in goal, I think it'll be sure of Haraska. Yeah, I think he'll stay in goal. Definitely, he, he's been very good for us. Um, left back, I'll probably have to stick with Paddy Kirk. Really, I think there's no one else there. Let's 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 be honest. Um, you know, you could have Flores in there, of course, but at the moment, uh, I'd probably just stick with Paddy Kirk. Uh, two centre halves. I'm going to put Kane Byrne back in. Um, alongside Mills, I think. 
I just don't know. It's, it's, obviously, we have, we have Flores in there on Friday, and I just don't think square pegs and rails all is going to help us at all at this moment if, if we want to find a little bit of consistency. So, yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, Burn and Mills. I think Burn, Burn needs to come back into the team for me. I'd stick him and him and Mills as the two centre halves. Uh, right back, I'm gonna stick with Madison. Um, a bit more quieter on Friday night, uh, or last Friday, uh, against Waterford. You know, he had a very good game up in, up in Galway, but he was a little bit more quieter there on uh, on last Friday. But look, uh, he's still you know, shown enough since he's come in to suggest that he should be the starting right back. Obviously, you have Barrett and Lalanda, but I, I don't think they're anywhere near it at the moment. So... I think I think you've got you've got to stick with uh, with Madison. Um, into the midfield, I'm going to go with Flores and McDonald as the two. I just think we need your sort of more combative, aggressive midfielders in these sort of games. I think I think although McMahon is is a good player, of course, and he's good on the ball, and he can't get you know stuck in, but. I think Flores and McDonald in, in this sort of game, in in a game that's going to be quite physical, but we're going to the game probably will be decided from the midfield. Um, you know, we 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 need, we need to be combative in there. We need to be uh, strong in there. And I think at the moment, at, at this at this current moment, I think Flores and McDonald are, are the two most sort of not the two midfielders that that fit that bill at the moment. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, go with them too as as the, as the two in midfield. Uh, obviously Clark will be just ahead of them. Um. On the right hand side will be Dylan Conley, I think. Uh, on the left, I'm gonna stick with Rooney. And then up front, I'm gonna make a change. I'm gonna go with Ryan Carr. I know some people probably disagree with that and, and they'll say, well, we, we should stick with Akin Tunde or if Pace checks with maybe throw him in. But I don't know about Akin Tunde personally. I think he can gas out a little bit in, in certain games. I think you get a good hour from him, but after that he's no real use. That's that's the impression I get of him really. I think we saw that against Waterford and, and even the Galway game, yeah, he gets a good uh, you know, good goal, a good header, but after a sort of an hour he kinda he, he did look a bit tired and he obviously he, he was taken off or, or taken off and, and um and yeah look I know Ryan Carr hasn't done a whole lot really to since he's come in to sort of, you know, su- suggest that he should be the um the, the start and striker, but I think you know, I think he, I think he could definitely cause um Paddy Barrett and Alex Malloy a couple of problems. Now he's a he's a strong player. He's tall. He's physical. We know that. We've seen him. You know, what we've seen from him, what we've seen from him so far suggests that you know he he is that kind of player. But obviously it's it's the goals really that made. It was a, that was good. He had a good goal there against Sligo. It was a nice finish, but. <laughs> You know, he, he probably hasn't given enough of an opportunity in the last couple of games to show what he's all about. He's come off the bench in, in, in games where, you know, when the, when the game's been you know, over, basically, you know, he hasn't really had much time to, to, to impress in those games. So, yeah, look, I, I'd start and I'd, I'd make a little change up front and, and look, I, 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 we'll see how that goes. I, I just don't know about that can ability to, to do it over 90 minutes. I think if Ryan Carr for now, anyway, I think we'll, well, yeah, just just for this game, maybe be a better option. Um, score prediction. I'd I'd be lying these if I said I was confident. Like I said that at the start of the preview. Um, with the way we're we're going at the moment, we're just not. We just don't have that. Uh, that consistency just yet. Um, you know Reynolds is still finding out about the team. Um, you know he probably doesn't know his best team just yet. Um. And look at it, you know, Shells have, have started the season really well. They're strong at Tolga Park. You don't see many goals. They're adding goals to their game as well. Yeah, look, they, they haven't won in a couple, you know, they have a couple of draws there, but still they're, they're unbeaten. They're, I think they're however many points clear at the top now. Some, I think it's six, isn't it? So, yeah, I, I, I think, unfortunately, look, I don't normally predict us to lose on this uh, channel, as, as many of you know. I, I, I try and be as positive as, as I can, but. I don't know. I, I think Shares might just nick this one there. Like I think it'll be a tight game. I think it'll be quite cagey. Um, you know, like like the game back in March. Really, I think I think it'll be another one of those games where it might be decided by something like a penalty or a, a set piece. You know, just just um, some someone might just you know edge it just about. I, I can't say it being a classic really, but who knows? It could be wrong, but. I can see shells just about negative. Uh, sadly, look, uh, like I said at the at the start, um, I, I really hope this is one of those games where, kind of like the Pats game, where we go in with not expecting much in the team surprises, but putting in a good performance and winning the game. But I just can't see it right now. I just haven't got the confidence to really predict us to get anything positive from the game. But look, hopefully the players prove me wrong anyway. Um, but yeah, look, I, I think we'll just about lose this one. Sadly, but look. 
like I said, prove us wrong, go out there for you and, 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 and you know, surprise us, you know, go like the Pats game, go out there for you. Um, get a bit of luck with something, a penalty, whatever, just capitalise on something and, and, and who knows. But yeah, look, that that's where I'll end it. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment down below everything you can head to this game, your score predictions, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.